Let's make this sunset boho granny square throw blanket. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the sunset boho granny square throw blanket. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click that bell, that way you don't miss any of my videos. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects and you're not gonna to wanna to miss out. This Sunset Boho Granny Square Throw Blanket was actually made using a very basic granny square pattern that began in the middle and just built upon itself round after round until it made the size of a throw blanket. So really it's just one really large granny square. <laughs> I used the pattern from the tutorial I just created right here. I am using the continuous one skein that you just use round after round after round until the skein runs out. This blanket color changes for you so you don't have to worry about changing color every row. So just continue to build upon round three, repeating round three over and over and over again until you reach round 37. So in this tutorial I am not going to show you how to make the main body of this blanket. I'm really just going to show you how to make the border to go around this blanket. This blanket measures 44 inches by 45 inches. I would say wide by long, but if you were to simply just rotate the blanket because it's a square, then it becomes 45 by 44. So you decide which one you want lengthwise, which one you want widthwise. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and dive right into what materials I use to make this blanket and then actually begin making the border. The materials that you're going to need for your Sunset Boho Granny Square Throw Blanket will include eight skeins of the Yarn Bee Glowing Sage and Song yarn. I actually used exactly 1,490 yards, 1,363 meters, 851 grams, or 31 ounces of a size four weight worsted medium Aran sized yarn or that could also be a 10 to 12 ply depending on where you live and how you address the size of your yarn. You'll need a crochet hook size I9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a yarn needle or tapestry needle to weave in your ends at the end of the project. Once you have all of your materials we are ready to dive right into actually making our sunset boho granny square throw blanket. All right so like I mentioned before I am not recreating the inner body of this sunset boho granny square throw blanket with you. This is just a very basic granny square pattern that I have a tutorial for. I went to round 37 with this pattern. So what you see here is me finishing round 37, slip stitching to close the round, and I'm ready for the border of this blanket. For round one of the border of this blanket, you will make five chains. One, two, three, four, Five. Perfect. That chain five counts as your first double crochet plus chain two. You will hop over to this next space right here and make three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain two, one, two. Hop over this group of three double crochets. In the next space, make one double crochet. One, chain two, one, two. Next space, make three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, one, two. Next space, make one double crochet one. So you'll see the pattern where it's three, chain two, one, chain two, three, chain two, one. Then I'll do a chain two. Repeat this pattern all the way across the top part of this blanket and I'll meet you in the corner to show you how we get around the corners. Great. See you in a second. One, two. One, two, three, one, two. All right, just following the pattern, chain two. When you get to the corner, you will always do one double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. 
and that will help us to get around this corner. So it'll look like this. We chain two, one double crochet, chain two, three double crochets, one, two, three, chain two, and one more double crochet in that corner space, one, and that really just sets us sets up our corner for us. Perfect, and now we are all set up to start working on this side. So let me adjust my blanket so I can get you there. Okay, great, we just shifted our blanket. Here is our round one of our border that we have made. Here's the corner that we have just accomplished, and now we just continue down this side of our blanket. We made our double crochet right here. We will chain two to hop over the group of three double crochets. In the first space following every corner, I always put three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain two, one double crochet. Chain two, three double crochet, one, two, three, chain two, one double crochet, chain two. All right, continue repeating this pattern. Three double crochet, chain two, one double crochet chain two, three double crochet, chain two, one double crochet, and then chain two. All the way across, I will meet you at the next corner just to repeat the corners, make sure you have it, and then I will set you free to finish round one of our blanket border. All right, corner number two of our blanket border. I just did a double crochet, chain two. Again, in that corner stitch, we will always begin with one double crochet, then chain two, three double crochets, one, two, three, chain two, and one double crochet all in that corner stitch right there. Perfect. Now we will shift our blanket so we can have this part upright and continue working. Great, now that we have shifted our blanket, we're ready to just continue on. Ending with that double crochet there, we will chain two, one, two. Again, the very first space after the corner, I begin with three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, and then one double crochet. You know the repeat pattern, you got this. Go ahead and continue on rounding the next corner and I will meet you in corner number four to show you how we end round one and continue on to round two. You got this, keep going. One, two, three. All right, coming on that fourth corner right here. So making one double crochet, chain two, three double crochets, one, two, three. Now we already have our first double crochet from the first three chains here that we began with. So I'm going to chain two and slip stitch into the third chain from that chain five we began with. Boom, right there. And that closes off round one of our border. Let me go ahead and shift this so that way I can show you how to dive right into round two. Okay, great. We are all set up to begin round two of our blanket border. You will chain one, single crochet in this chain two space, Perfect, and we are all set up. If your next stitch is a group of three double crochets, you will make five chains. If your next stitch is a single double crochet, you will make three chains. 
So here is a group of three double crochets. So I will make five chains. One, two, three, four, five. In this chain two spot, make one single crochet. Next stitch is one double crochet. So I will make three chains. One, two, three, Hop over that one double crochet, find the next chain two space, single crochet in that chain two space. One, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the chain two space. One, two, three, single crochet in the next chain two space. So all you are doing is we are making big loops over our stitches. So if we run into a group of three double crochets, we will make five chains to hop over it, single crochet in the chain two space. If we come upon one double crochet, we will make three chains to hop over it, and then single crochet in the chain two spot. Then five chains, single crochet, three chains, single crochet. Next will be five chains, single crochet, then three chains, single crochet. Repeat this all the way across the side and I will meet you in the corner to show you how we get around the corners. And then I think you are pretty well set up to make it all the way around the blanket for round two. One, two, three, single crochet. Okay, when we come upon the corners, we know that every corner begins with one double crochet. So we will make three chains, one, two, three, single crochet in that chain two space. Here's a group of three double crochets, so we will chain five. One, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the next chain two space. And then we got one double crochet, so chain three, one, two, three, and single crochet in the next chain two space. Let me go ahead and rotate this blanket and then we will continue on. All right, great, we have just rotated the blanket. We are now ready to work on this side of the blanket border. Every single corner you come upon, you will do three chains, single crochet, five chains, single crochet, three chains, single crochet. Even if there is a double crochet stitch right before you enter your corner, you're just gonna end up doing three chains to hop over that one double crochet stitch, and then another three chains here to enter in your corner where there is one double crochet to begin. All right, go ahead and continue on, and I will meet you in the fourth corner to close round two and begin round three of your blanket border. Round three is our very last round before we finish this blanket. So we are so close. You're almost done. Okay, great. We are coming upon corner number four. I'm going to make three chains, two, three, to hop over that one double crochet, single crochet. All right, in that corner, I got one double crochet. So one, two, three to hop over it, single crochet in that chain two space. Next group, I have a group of three double crochets, so I will need five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in that chain two space. And then right here, that is our double crochet. So we need to make three more chains. One, two, three. And then this single crochet is where we began round two. I'm gonna slip stitch in that first single crochet stitch right there. Perfect, and that closes round two. So this is what you'll be looking at to close. Perfect, let me go ahead and rotate the blanket so we can get started on round three, our final round. Great, all set up to begin round three. Round three is super easy, guys. When you come upon your group of five chains, you will make seven double crochet in that group of five. When you come upon your group of three chains, you'll make one single crochet in that group of three. 
Let me go ahead and show you. And then honestly, you just repeat this all the way around your blanket, including your corners, and you're good to go. So we're going to begin right off the bat making seven double crochets in this chain five space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, chain three space, make one single crochet. Next is a chain five space, make seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, group of three chains, one single crochet. Perfect, let's repeat that one more time. Group of five chains gets seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Group of three gets one single crochet. Okay, laying this down, looking at it. Go ahead and continue this pattern all the way around, including the corners. You're not doing anything special for corners at all. You come upon a group of five chains, make seven double crochet. Come upon a group of three chains, make one single crochet. Go ahead and repeat this all the way around the entire blanket and I will meet you right here, corner number four, where we started, show you how to close round three and your blanket is done. Last corner of round three, got this chain five here, making seven double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, single crochet in this group of three chains. Perfect. Now we're going to slip stitch right below this group of seven double crochets. So right here, that single crochet from round two, we'll slip stitch. We will grab our scissors, cut our yarn with a long enough tail to weave in our ends. Yarn over, pull that yarn through the loop, pull tight for a slip knot, and your blanket is done. You just need to pull out your yarn needle, tapestry needle, weave in your ends, and you're done. So this is what your corners will look like. Let me grab this corner over here. So you can really see how we did. There is a single crochet, single crochet leading into that corner. If that was something you were curious about, you just do single crochet for that chain three and then single crochet for that chain three. And then lead right into the seven double crochets. And that is your border. This is what you should be looking at right here. You grab another corner here. Here we go. And same thing, single crochet, single crochet leading into that corner, seven double crochets. There we go, that is your blanket. All right guys, that is how you make my Sunset Boho Granny Square Throw Blanket. I hope you love it, I hope you had so much fun. If you did, you might also really enjoy these videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, crocheting with me. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have the best day, and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.